Brad to the studio. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. How is everyone? Good. How are you? I'm good today. Thank you. You've got to, some. Uh, you got some guests with you today. Yeah. We. You know, Kristen and I normally kind yeah. of kind of do this uh, mano y mano, so to speak. But now we've got an extra guest here. I've got mm -hmm. Molly Hardesty from our diagnostic imaging department here with us. So I'll give her some time here in a minute, and she's going to go over a few things that's going on in that department. Awesome. Welcome, Molly. Thank you. All right. Absolutely. How is uh, things at Woodlawn? You know, good. We uh, we had our board meeting yesterday, and uh, you know, we kind of always go over those financial things first. And um, you know, it was a positive month. We had a lot of growth over the last few months, and um, we ended up with about a four hundred and sixty thousand um, dollar operating income, um, and about a seven hundred and eighty thousand um, dollar overall income for the month. Cool. Um, it's wonderful. You know, we're still trying to make up from that January and February where. <laughs> Uh, whether it was weather related or just the new year related, uh, it was really slow. Yeah. So overall, the hospital is doing great this year, and we're, we're happy to see those numbers. It's a, it's one of those things that uh, yeah, you don't want to wish bad on anybody, but yet uh, if uh, if everybody's healthy, then uh, it's slow times out with them. You know, when we talk about financials, I normally look at it like this: when we have a good month and we we financially done well, I look at it as we were here. And available yep. when people needed us, yep. and there were a lot of people who needed us last month, and we were able to take care of them. When so. it's slower, that means people didn't need you, but you were still there. We're always here to yep. help. Absolutely. So, um, good month overall financially. You know, we had uh, our inpatient volumes were higher. You know, we've got our new ER services mm -hmm. going. Uh, Concord Medical, our new physician group in the emergency department. So. Um, I don't normally talk about, hey, go see them in the ER, um, but just know that if you do need them, they're there and they're doing a fabulous job. Awesome. We're getting a lot of positive comments from the community. Awesome. So it's a good, good partnership. So what so. else is happening out there? Obviously, uh, you, when, when you make money, that means you're able to uh, put money back into the place as well to keep services uh, growing. Absolutely. So we'll, we'll kind of jump right into that for Molly. Um, we, we always do our capital. Uh, requests kind of at the beginning of our board meeting each month if we have them so Molly's got some good news for her department in the community and I'll let her talk about what's going on in imaging. Awesome. Um, yeah so um, again I'm Molly Hardesty director of imaging and um, I've been with the hospital for 18 years so uh, I've seen a lot of growth um, exciting growth yeah. and changes and I just wanted to come and kind of remind people of the services we offer especially preventative services and cancer screenings and um, you know with the financials you know, we're, is, when we're doing well with financials, we're able to buy new equipment, which then we can provide for our patients. So we recently were approved for a new portable machine, um, which is a really big deal when it comes to traumas and um, being able to provide quick um, x-rays for those patients. Um, some of the other services and equipment, in the last five years, we've been able to upgrade almost all of our equipment. So we offer the same equipment here that you get at Indianapolis, South Bend, yeah. Um, Lutheran, we have the same radiology group that reads for Lutheran Hospital and a lot of the hospitals in Fort Wayne. So you're getting the same services locally. So some of the stuff we offer, um, actually September is prostate cancer awareness. So we can provide MRI screenings for prostates um, and then they send those images to the urologist and if a biopsy is needed, they use those images to do a targeted biopsy mm -hmm. on the prostate. So um, it also prevents unnecessary biopsies. Um, the radiologist can determine from those images whether or not a biopsy has been indicated. So um, people need to just talk to their doctor about that. Usually an elevated prostate um, um, lab labs will show if they need an MRI or not. Um, October is Mammography Awareness Month, so um, breast cancer awareness. So we provide um, 3D mammography, which allows for better imaging of the breast tissue and you can see um, lesions when they're smaller. So patients can get those tests done and um, take care of those, get those treatments earlier. Um, then in November, it's lung cancer screening uh, or lung cancer awareness, and we provide low dose lung cancer screenings. So um, it's a low radiation dose. Um, those patients have to meet certain criteria, so they need to talk to their doctors. But generally, if they're smokers um, and there's a concern for lung cancer, they come in. Um, it's non-invasive, very easy. They don't even have to have contrast. Um, so it's very quick and easy test. And again, they can see those nodules sooner and get treatment quicker and um, you know extend their, their life and their um, health. 
And then um, another service, newer service that we're offering is elastography. That's an ultrasound of your liver. It shows the stiffness of your liver and they can detect um, cirrhosis and um, hepatitis earlier mm. in those patients. So the mammograms, you know, if a patient needs that, they don't have to have an order for that, but everything else they need to see their doctor and kind of go through some screening questions with their doctor and decide if these other services are necessary. Obviously, uh, you've seen a lot of changes over the 18 years. What's one of the biggest changes that you've seen in, in, in imaging? Oh, technology. Yeah. Technology's always changing and you've got to stay up with that to provide that good care for your um, patients and um, especially with in our department, the radiation, we want to provide um, the equipment that offers low radiation to our patients. Mm -hmm. um, and our administration and our board has always been very, very um, understanding and accommodating and wanting us to provide or you know get the, that imaging so we can provide for our patients. Um, yeah, it's always changing, but it's exciting <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Um, and the technologists at the hospital, they um, have a lot of um, education and they go back to school and they get, um, you know, we have a lot of cross training. So I do CT and x-ray. We have techs who do CT, x-ray and MRI. And they go back and they get special training to do those um, procedures and to be able to run that equipment um, effectively and take care of our patients, so. It's just amazing how things have grown over the years, right? Um, you know, just from a personal experience, I had a CT scan of my nose. My brother and I many years ago got in a political disagreement. <laughs> um, and uh, so I had a deviated one. septum. And so uh, a few years back, I had to have that. And it was right after we got our new machine, CT. Mm -hmm. our new CT machine. And um, it was a like a, it took two minutes. Yeah, It was almost more time for me to get prepped and lay down than it was yeah. to do the exam. Um, 10 years before that, that might have taken 30 or 40 minutes. So just leaps and bounds how quickly that technology goes. And then our new MRI machine, um, you know, it's, it's faster, it's quieter, it feels more open, mm -hmm. but gives the, the good quality pictures that you want. And so I always applaud our board for that. I mean, we have oftentimes, even before large academic institutions, we have some of the fastest equipment out there and the most technology uh, um, pretty quickly right here in rural Fulton County. right here in rural Fulton County and so it's amazing and it, it is really a testament to the board um, understanding that that improvement improves the lives of the community and, and it also improves our ability to operate now you know when in the past you know some of Molly's uh, the, the technicians in the department may have only been able to do eight or nine exams per day because it took so long right. Well, now they can do 12 or 15, and mm -hmm. that helps the community. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, what a great thing. Scheduling is much easier to mm -hmm. get things scheduled. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, we're, I'm always uh, surprised. And, you know, we joke with Molly in the hospital pretty regularly. I will let you know that. Because <laughs> yeah. when Molly comes to the board meeting, she's not asking for five or ten bucks. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> most of her machines are a million. Yeah. You know, this this most recent imaging machine, is, I, know, I can't remember, 150000 mm -hmm. roughly. Yeah, roughly. And, and that portable x-ray and that's you know to us that's cheap for molly right right because um, most of the time it's can i get two or three million please yeah um so when but, she goes with 150 that's a no-brainer uh, and yeah. she's yeah. smart about that yeah. she realizes that but um yeah th that equipment's expensive but my goodness it's it's the gold standard for almost everything we do so well what, what it does is it pays off in the end because it's mm -hmm. better like you say for the patient for uh to catch something sooner mm -hmm. to hopefully maybe get that taken care of before something Yeah, happens. and Molly mentioned something a minute ago about, you know, radiation, and, and correct me, please. Um, <laughs> I think it's ALARA, mm -hmm. and so they use this acronym, and Krista hates when I use these medical acronyms. We just talked about this, too. As um, low as reasonably achievable. So as low as reasonably achievable, and what that means is, is that everything we're doing in imaging, whether it's here or anywhere in the nation, is how can we get the same image with less radiation? Right. Mm -hmm. And less radiation is dependent upon lots of things. It's mm -hmm. the power of the machine and all that, but it's also time. And so the faster we can get exams done, the less radiation. So um, they do an amazing job because we're constantly updating and getting new mm -hmm. equipment. And all of that's based on one goal, patient safety. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. So. Awesome. 
So, uh, just like you said, just the mammogram is the only one that needs, you can come out and get, the others have to, you need to see your doctor and, yeah. and get everything scheduled. Yep, the other ones you'll need to see your doctor, get screened through them, and then we'll have to have an order and uh, okay. generally uh, prior off through the insurance. But insurance companies really, if you meet criteria, they approve these because they want to, um, you know, it's a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. It's um, better for them, too. Yep, yeah. if you can catch a cancer early and get it treated. Yeah. So, it's really important that patients um, follow up with their physicians about this stuff. Absolutely. Um, other things going on at the hospital, just want a reminder that um, Kathy Lowe is our new Chief Nursing Officer. We talked a little bit about it last time. She'll be starting next Monday, people, on the 30th. So, you know, we talked about this a little bit. Kathy was born and raised at Woodlawn Hospital, um, so to speak, and in the community, and she's coming home. So when you see her next week or see her running around the community, welcome her back home. Yeah. We're, we're happy to have her and glad she's joining the team. Um, rehab to Home Program. Yes. We're up and running and going strong. Good. If you or a member of your family needs uh, a little extra tune-up, I call it. So that's that's the program that, you know, after you've been admitted to the hospital for a few days and you've gotten over whatever the acute injury is or the, the surgery you've had and you need just a little more time to get back to where you were before, um, our Rehab to Home program is there for you. You can get therapy services every, you know, Monday through Friday and Saturdays as well. Um, and you can get your strength back up before you go home. So you can go home independently. So if you need that, please reach out to the hospital and, and let us know, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. And then tomorrow, you know, we've, we've had food trucks at the hospital oh, the last few weeks mm -hmm. or a few months. Yes. And tomorrow we have elephant ears Ooh. and lemon shake-ups, people. Mm -hmm. So starting at 11 a.m., welcome the community. Um, it's been going over really well. Um, last month we had... Uh, we had taco truck one month. We had um, tenderloins, pulled pork, all kinds of wonderful yeah. things last month. And, and this month, for those people, if you didn't get enough of these out at the fairs. That's right. You can relive your fair days. You've got an elephant ear and a lemon <laughs> shake up tomorrow. So come on out, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, I want to say thank you to someone. Nancy Day. Nancy Day has been a board member of Woodlawn mm -hmm. Hospital for 20 years. Nancy's last board meeting was yesterday, uh, and um, she's decided to retire from that position. And I just want to say thank you, Nancy. Yeah. Um, I've been at the hospital 18 and a half years, almost 19 now, and it's been wonderful getting to know her over the years and getting to uh, you know, just see what she's been able to experience in that board position and, and what she's a great a job. Of growth too. Absolutely. <laughs> and what an amazing job she's done for the hospital and the community. So, Nancy, thank you yeah. for all of your service to Woodlawn well Hospital. Well, well done. done. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And then, really, Krista, you've got some things to mention in the marketing areas. So, we are wrapping up our parade season. So, if you are headed out to Kiwana this Saturday, um, we'll have our float there. Please say hi. We'd love to meet and greet our community. Um, it's been a fun, we call it the season. It's been a fun community event. Um, season we've been out and about and it's been it's nice um, to hear from our community um, so we have that going on we also have check retreat events coming up and um, we're hoping to maybe do something um, to get back to our community um, with some different events so more to come on that we're working through some logistics um, to partner with the boot fest so more to come on that but um, we have all that going on as well. Uh, we've got we're going to be at the oh Rochester, Rochester Fire, Fire I Department. forgot the Rochester yep. Fire Department will be there as well, um, so if you're not in Kiwana, come out to the fire department and, and we'll be there from 11 to um, 3. And you know, we've been talking about our emergency team and the changes there, and one of our docs will actually be at the table, so it's a great way to meet people, and our director of emergency services will be there, so just a wonderful way to meet people as well. Um, and last but not least, um, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We have a very active Facebook and Instagram um, Going on. We also have LinkedIn, so if you want to know a lot about what's happening with our team or um, new job opportunities, if you're interested in healthcare opportunities, that's a great <coughs> place for you to find out all those opportunities. And you know, all we do all of this so that we can earn the right to care for our community. That's super important to everyone that works at Woodlawn. Absolutely. Um, Sounds like a busy weekend for you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's let's have hope for nice weather. Yes. Uh, to walk in the parade in Kiwana yeah. and. Uh, you know, maybe I'll get an elephant ear on Tuesday and Saturday this week. Ooh, what a deal. Never know. 
You never know. You never know. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Anything else, Brad, as we wrap up here? No, we, we just appreciate the time to come and, and get our information out and look forward to seeing you guys again next month. Molly, thanks for coming in as well. Thank you very much. Woodlawn Health Report here on Giant FM.